My name is Sienna and I'm studying creative nonfiction writing here at UCF. My creative thesis is tentatively titled Golden Years. It will be a series of essays infused with cultural criticism that play with humor, point of view, and the conventions of written forms such as the travel guide and the screenplay to tackle questions of cultural preservation and nostalgia. How many of you have heard of Sister Rosetta Tharp? How many of you have heard of Elvis Presley or Chuck Berry? So Sister Rosetta Tharp, she was a gospel singer and electric guitar player who both Presley and Berry cited as a big influence. And in my essay, The Godmother, I explore her life and her overlooked legacy through both my words as a female of color who's interested in rock music and in her words in order to reassign her a voice and a sense of agency in the rock and roll narrative. Another one of my essays is Threads of Memory in which I recount my experiences working at a vintage clothing store. And through that experience, I consider questions of ethics in the vintage fashion world in terms of what we remember as a society and how certain fashion movements have been perhaps romanticized by the vintage clothing society. Another one of my essays is A Trolley Runs Through It, which takes the form of a travel guide with a rather sarcastic narrator who explores her relationship with her hometown while exploring also the changes that the town has gone through over the course of her lifetime. And as I was writing a lot of these, especially the, the essays that go more into cultural criticism, one of my biggest challenges, I would say, has been the fact that so many of the films I write about, Casablanca, for instance, and so many of the musicians have been in our cultural lex lexicon for decades now. So I really had to step back and wonder what I was contributing to these narratives. And so one thing I talk about a lot would be being a millennial who's interested in pop culture of the past, how the how the digital age has made these mediums more accessible to younger audiences, but how rising ticket prices of concerts, for instance, or Turner Classic Movie Cruises have financially kept this movement online. And that is all, so thank you very much.